I'm Tara Oracle, and this is news for April, and wow, we have a lot, so hang on. The first is Chris Ann, the author of The Light Seer's Tarot. Everyone loves The Light Seer's Tarot, and Chris Ann is back with the Tarot of Curious Creatures. Very cool. 78 plus 1 deck of cards, plus, of course, a little book to go with it coming out in September. So, uh, yeah, if you want to get a pre-order in, I would get it in now. It is coming from Hay House, and it looks pretty cool. Traditional Chris Ann style. I like it. Pre-order it now. From the author of the Heaven and Earth Tarot Kit comes another deck that looks like the Heaven and Earth Tarot Kit. So if you liked that one, you will probably like this one as well. It is the Runic Tarot. Coming from Jack Sephiroth, let's see, Sephiroth, coming from Jack Sephiroth, does look a lot like the Runic Tarot. Let's all admit, this is a very, uh, a very tight representation of that. Coming out in November, you can get your pre-order in now. It is a bit expensive at 35 but as you'll see, everything has gone up about 20-25%. Now, Llewellyn has, speaking of an abundance, uh, Llewellyn has an abundance indeed of new tarot. One of the cool ones that I like is the Folk Cards of Destiny. That is coming out soon, October-ish, and it has quite a few cards. Quite a few cool-looking, interesting cards. Um, yeah, so very sort of classical look, very cool look. It's only 18 bucks. Now, Llewellyn does have a 35% off sale every couple of months. You can get this for really cheap. I mean, really cheap on that 35% off sale. I'm just saying. They also have the Minara Erotic Oracle. Now, I did do an unboxing of the Minara Tarot. Wasn't exactly my favorite looking deck, but I mean, it'd be sort of interesting. If this is sort of your style, you're like, I like the Minara type style. I like the erotica or whatnot. This does look a little bit better than the tarot. I have to say, it looks a little better than the tarot. I think a lot of the tarot was just sort of phoned in. But yeah, you can pre-order that. Pretty cheap at 19 bucks with 35% off of that. Coming out in October. Get your hands on that, no pun intended. We also have the Surrealist Tarot. Now, this looks familiar. This does look familiar. It is one of the classic art styles that we do have, sort of coming out of Llewellyn and whatnot. Um, it is pretty reasonable at 25 bucks. So you do have this, definitely the Surrealist name is used well. It is used well, because these are some weird, wild images. And overall, I like it. I like it a lot. Definitely something on my pre-order list. The Surrealist Tarot is already purchased and ready to go. I just need to wait until October. Tarot at the End of the Rainbow. This is a nice one. This is a nice one indeed. Already pre-ordered this as well. I mean, this just looks cool. It looks cool. This is one of the few. I mean, this is by David Corsi. You've seen David Corsi in countless other decks. He does such a fantastic job. And I think as well here, we have his cool, unusual, and very detailed art style is sort of coming in here. Now, you know David Corsi from the Gregory Scott Tarot, by the way. And you know how much I love the Gregory Scott Tarot. I think that his art style, I think that sort of the way he does all of the pictures and whatnot, they have a lot of meaning, a lot of things that you can grab onto while you're doing a reading. Overall, in October, this is going to be exciting. Again, pretty reasonable at $25. Bucks. Um, the, the Kickstarter decks that are out now are not very reasonable anymore. The old days where a Kickstarter deck was $35 bucks is, is long gone. Uh, now they're $60, uh, $70, in some cases $100. Bucks. So you definitely want to pick up any good mass market tarot while you still can before the price 
before the price hike hits. Now, we got this Taro Steinberger here. Very classical, very attractive. Again, another one that I went ahead and ordered. Um, coming out in October. I like how it is reversed friendly. So you get a different meaning based upon you know sort of where it's at. Sometimes you get uh, a hiding from a lion. Sometimes you get, uh, I don't know what's going on over there. But anyway, you get the idea. It, very sort of cool there. Um, yeah, the Terrell Steinberger, another one that I ordered. Again, a little expensive. These are normally big cards. When you look at these, these are normally not small. So, yeah, that's why I sort of 35 bucks. But again, use their coupon when it comes out. The way Jodorowsky explained Tarot to his cat. I'm not sure what to think about this. I definitely did not pre-order this. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Uh, it's interesting, sure. I mean, it is interesting. It's cheap. I mean, okay. This is not something that I can see ever using, in my personal opinion. But if you like this style, I mean, if you are sort of a cat collector, you know what I mean? No matter what it is, I need to, if it has cats, I need it. I mean, this could be your thing. I don't know. It just wasn't mine, but it is interesting. And again, reasonably priced at 20 bucks, I gotta say. Uh, now we got the Cirque du Tarot, and this has... It's been around a little bit. I pre-ordered this for a while now, waiting for this to come out. Definitely something um, that I'm looking forward to. And I mean, overall, 30 bucks is not cheap, but again, everything has gone up in price. So we have the Fool, just looks cool. The Hermit looks cool. I mean, this is a deck I can see using every day. This is gonna be one of the decks that really competes for my attention with all the other top decks that I have. I'm really, really looking forward to using this. We have the Earth Warriors Oracle is also available. This has a lot of activity within the card. Alana Fairchild is back. A lot of detail here. I mean, maybe too much. Is it too much detail? Maybe. It is pretty good looking though. I gotta say, it is good looking. Second edition, um, 25 bucks. Apparently it's, is it out now? No, September? Okay. I was not in stock, expect a delay in delivery. I'm not really sure what that even means. We don't have any uh, pictures to look at other than what I just showed you. Let's move on to September. In September for 25 bucks. Now this is from Giuliano Costa. This is the same person that did the pre-Raphaelite tarot. And it looks exactly like the pre-Raphaelite tarot, except because you have the same cloud formations. You remember my complaint about the the, the same clouds in the pre-Raphaelite tarot? They're back. They appear to be back. We have the same formations here. But this looks cool. I pre-ordered it. It is a reasonable price. It does have the same trees as the pre-Raphaelite. It's got the same clouds in some cases, a lot of the same color scheme, but it looks cool. It looks cool and I need it. I need it. A, a good Halloween deck that you can use throughout the year. And that's, I think that's what you have here. A good Halloween deck that you can use throughout the year. It is from one of my favorite artists, the Jack, the Jack o' Lantern Tarot. I definitely want to, uh, I definitely want to get that in my hands as soon as humanly possible. Now let's look at the Celtic Astrology Oracle. This is a good-looking deck. This is a very good-looking deck of cards. This is from Antonella Castelli, and it's very attractive. I, I really enjoy this deck. It looks good. It's something I need in my collection. I'm not big on oracles, but this does look nice. And uh, before I make the decision though, how many cards am I getting? It does not say. Does it say? And I'm just, okay. Uh, text by Linnea Weatherstone. That's kind of cool. I do like Linnea's um, work. I may be picking this up. I don't know how many cards it is. Is it numbered? I got 12. 
two, three, and the highest number I have is 12. That's not encouraging. I'd love a highest number of like 50. That would be much better. Uh, and on we go. We must move on. The show must go on. With the relative Terra, this is interesting. This is interesting. There's a lot of kind of uh, competition in the, you know, sort of photo, classical, desaturated color realm. And uh, I'm not sure how this competes. I mean, if you're into this, if this is something you definitely want, I think it's rather expensive at 35 bucks for mass market. It appears to, it does appear to have a, a book that comes with it, I guess. Anyway, it's from Kerry Paris. We have 82 cards. And if you're into this style, I would definitely make this onto the list. Again, a bit much at 35 bucks. The Orion's Animal Tarot is coming out, and it looks good. This looks good. This looks like something I can get into. I like it. I like it a lot. Really, really like this. Love the color scheme. I love how vibrant it is. That black background with these very popping, uh, saturated colors really turn me on. The no borders as well helps. Something that I already pre-ordered. It is something that I already pre-ordered. Very reasonable at 26 bucks too. I mean, I'm just saying from Rockpool Publishing. I don't think I've ever heard of Rockpool Publishing before. But hey, hopefully it comes out. looks good. Hopefully the card stock is good. Already pre-ordered it. It is the Animal Tarot. Orion's Animal Tarot. We have the Sacred Sisterhood Tarot coming out in October. This is pretty much all we have. Connie Curry, uh, I mean, that's only, I, I, that's the only picture I have. I, ca I can't really make a decision on that, especially for a high price of 35 bucks. You need to show me more cards. I mean, the more cards I can see, the better informed I feel and the more confidence I have in ordering. I just need more cards. Okay, unless your Chris Ann, and then you can show me one card, and then I can pretty much make up my mind because you have a history of, of things that I like. But in here, I need more. I need more. The Zend Out Journey Tarot Kit uh, for personal growth for 25 bucks. It has absolutely no pictures except this weird looking um, text style where the text is barely readable. I mean, you need to need to you know you need to bump that up a little bit to make that more readable. If you want this, twenty five bucks, you are gonna take a risk because I have no idea what it even looks like. A deck of illustrated cards that's good, lavishly illustrated cards, not just illustrated. It is lavish, my friends. And if you want the zend out the zend out deck, you can pick it up now for sale later. Forest Fay, you know I'm big. You know, I'm big on this style. You know I am. But it looks kind of odd. It looks kind of weird. Definitely an acquired taste here. You have the Forest Fay Nadia Turner. I'm a big fan of any Fay. I mean, you know, Brian Froud decks and whatnot. Um, that looks so weird. That looks unusual. This could be your style. You could be just like turned on right now and be like, I got to have this. If so, I would definitely pick it up now. It is 12 bucks, so I'm not really sure how big the actual deck is. Um, that's really cheap. Makes me think it's going to be really thin or really small. I'm not sure. Do we have a sizing? Rockpool Publishing is back. The... Dimensions are two inches by four inches. That is mighty tiny. That is mighty small. That's what she said. It is only 40 magical cards as well. Yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be a very sort of, uh, yeah, a very sort of iffy purchase for me. Oh, we have the Tarot V. You know, Alejandro Colusi is back from the Tarot Z. That's a zombie tarot. I'll use it occasionally. It's a bit over the top. One of the problems with zombie tarots is they look very samey. 
and throughout the entire deck you're like that kind of looks like the other card which kind of looks like the other card which kind of looks like the uh this looks a little better though there's a little more detail here maybe a little more to sort of discern what card it is because i think the tarot z kind of went over the top with the whole zombie theme anyway it's 26 bucks if you're into zombies if you like Colusi's work definitely pick it up ask the witch tarot is here as well this is another one on sort of the witchy tarot deck i love the presentation here the presentation a plus for presentation i like it i like it look at the cards looks pretty cool looks very cool i like the style it's so unusual it's nice and diverse and look at the packaging. Let me look at this packaging. Got a hardbound box. You got a book. Wait a minute. Is the hardbound box in another box? There's a box in another box? What, what the hell is happening here? Or is this just the deck? I'm not sure what's going on. I have a guidebook that looks fairly good. Um, I mean, overall, this looks like something I want to pick up, especially for 25 bucks. This looks like a hell of a deal. That looks like a deal. If you get this packaging... For 25 bucks, um, it seems like we're back to the old days where, where prices weren't jacked. Um, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I'm going to get it. I dropped my I dropped my mouse and now I'm at a place unknown. Uh, relative tarot. Did we already do this one? So this is what happened when I dropped my mouse. Yes, we did do this one. Let's move on to the... Radiant Tarot, Radiant Tarot by Alexandra Eldridge, and very cute, very cute indeed. There's a lot on Etsy that sort of looks similar to this. I like it overall. I like the style. I do like the style. I like it a lot. And this is a traditional tarot, or is it? It is 40 bucks, which makes me like it less. That is, that is an experience. Expensive deck of cards. That is quite an expensive deck of cards. I don't know if it's made out of adamantium or titanium, but oh, that hurts. That's a lot. I mean, you're getting into sort of the Kickstarter range at that point. Um, Outsider Art Tarot is also coming up. We only have one image, and it doesn't look like something I would be interested in. But maybe you like this. Maybe you do indeed. Publisher's Red Feather. All right. Well, Red Feather, just from a tarot enthusiast perspective, you need more cards. Red Feather, the new publisher that I haven't seen before. Maybe because I've never been exposed to Red Feather. I don't know. You need more cards. More cards. I need as many cards as I can see. And that makes me want to buy when I have more cards. Tarot of Enchanted Soul. Even though we don't have more cards, this looks damn good for one card. <laughs> if you're going to put one card up and you're going to be like, screw it. Here's one card. You decide on one card. This makes me decide yes. Yasmin Westwood. You did good. This looks very nice. Red Feather, the one card preview publisher you did good here because it comes out in November and I'm pre-ordering it. No, no question about it at all. No question about it at all. That looks good for a one-card preview. And finally on Amazon, we have the Rainbow Moon Tarot. Again, 26 bucks. What was Red Feather charging me? 35 bucks. Ow. Ow. That hurts. That hurts my soul. Rainbow Moon Tarot. We're over here into the rainbow moon section. And this looks cute. I like it. Very minimalist, sort of fun. You know, it's sort of, let's have some fun. Let's do this thing. Rockpool Publishing, again, reasonable at 26 bucks. Overall, if you like that art style, I would definitely get that on pre-order. All right, we are zooming through. Again, there's so much crap. There's so much crap to go through. Dr. Fox, Tarot of the Drowning World. 
we have a deck of cards of dudes in water. Dudes and dudesses in water surrounded by plants. This is what we have, my friends. We have people in water surrounded by plants. In some cases, we have genitalia barely covered. In other cases, we have a, a very dominant plant section. So we buried people in water and we, or we buried things in water and we took pictures of it. So, yeah, I mean, this could be your thing. That could be your thing. Uh, there you have the little staging area with the water. We have the cups and whatnot. In some cases, we have people in there. Some cases, we have people in there with genitals barely covered. Uh, here we go. Here we go. How covered are these genitals? That is, you know, I'm not going to make a manhood joke. I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm just not going to do it. But if you like this, you can pick up dudes and dudesses in water. So for 65 bucks, you can get a copy of this. It sounds expensive. Everything in tarot has gone up at least 20%. And I expect it to go up another 20%. Just my two cents. I'm making another video on this, but everything's expensive. Uh, I'm sorry. Pocket of Peers Tarot Deck. I pledged already for 60 bucks. This looks good. This looks real good. It is an unusual style. It's a mix of reality with art. Done well. Done very well, in my opinion. It looks so good. It looks so, so good. And I went ahead and ordered it. So I have to have this. This is my thing. This is my style. It is just whimsical. It's fun. It's a good idea. It's unique. This has everything that I want in a tarot deck. And I picked it up. 363 other people want it as well. And I can't wait to get it. It is coming out um, September. Oh, that's not too far off. All right. Welcome to Expensive Tarot de Marseille of the New Incarnation. 147 backers. It's made 13K. Eugene is known for a lot of expensive tarot decks has some beautiful cards that are not cheap. Um, the, they are not cheap. So, um, does have a special offer though. You can get three decks, uh, two decks. You can sort of mix and match, right? So you're just like, I want to get a bunch of these decks. Uh, obviously the Venetian Tarot at a hundred bucks, not cheap. You get a small Venetian Tarot. It's only 60 um, I, I mean, overall, you know, Eugene is known for some expensive decks. Uh, let's just say that. Definitely not cheap. High quality? Absolutely. The Kabbalistic Tarot is just gorgeous. It's just stunning. Like, some of these are just stunning. Uh, you know, you just want to drop a paycheck on Eugene's Etsy. So, when Eugene goes and makes a Kickstarter, definitely uh, gets, gets my attention. So what did Eugene do here? Eugene got the miners and illustrated them. I mean, essentially, we got the miners and we illustrated them. So you do have a more illustrated look to it. Um, and so obviously Eugene being the, the not very cheap uh, decks, we, we do have that tarot, the United with a Luxury Bach and a Companion Book. You know, it's about 64 bucks. It is about 64 bucks. So you did have an early bird for a little cheaper. Um, I'm not going to complain about $64, especially shipped. I don't think that's too bad, but, uh, you know, not cheap. At least it's not at the, uh, at least it's not at the, at the $100 level. So, uh, yeah. I mean, if you like, because damn, that looks good. That's... <laughs> Every time I look at this, I'm like, why don't I have this in my collection? The first reaction I have every time I see this deck is, why isn't this in my collection? 
I mean, just go ahead. You know, you only live once. I should just pick it up. But anyway, if you're into this, and I definitely am, I... I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I think 64 is reasonable for this. Look at the box. It's gorgeous and it's stunning. Um, you get a little book with it. If you are, if you are interested in the TDM, which I am, having illustrated minors is fun and cool and unique. And I think that if anybody can do this right, it's Eugene. Uh, bottom line, if anyone can do that and pull it off, it's Eugene. 108 backers on the Jap uh, Japanimation tarot deck. Now, you know that, you know, I had, to, I had to take a look at this. We have 78 cards. It is really anime. This is like the vomit uh, style anime. It's way, way too anime for me way too anime it's cute though if you like this stuff that's not i mean it's kind of cute you can pick it up you can pick it up the early bird for about 40 bucks now give it up give it up all the other decks you're seeing for 80 bucks 60 bucks 75 bucks oh man i shouldn't buy this i'm not buying it i'm not buying it i might do it I mean, you know I'm into anime. You know I like the anime thing. That is sort of a vomitous, oh, extreme anime. Oh, man. That's that's really iffy. I might do I don't know. I might do The Fox's Wedding is back. You've seen The Fox's Wedding. It feels like a dozen times. Not a dozen times. Not literally. 144 people like The Fox's Wedding. This has been around for a lot of time. <laughs> this has been around a lot. Um, yeah. It's attractive. I think it's beautiful. I think they did very well with this. This is definitely a deck to have. This is definitely a deck to have. This is going to be one that I'm just going to reach for almost every time. It really is. Almost every time. The reason I say that is because it's 30 freaking dollars. I don't know what kind of quality I'm looking for here, but for 30 bucks, that's like mass market price. And it makes me want to get it. It makes me want to get it. Sort of like the Numinous Tarot, third printing of this. Um, it is extremely attractive. This is. There's so many decks coming out, man. I feel like I'm just going to be broke at the end of April. Like I'm not going to have any money. Like, you know what I mean? Like I can, I can just buy ramen soup and eat it for the entire month maybe or something and just buy every one of these tarot decks because I really feel like I'm going to be missing out. I know it's FOMO, fear of missing out, but I'm going to see this. I'm going to see somebody with it and I'm going to say, damn it, I should have bought it. I should have bought it. Where is it? Can I get it later? And now it's going to be outrageously expensive and I could get it right now for 45 no 54 bucks which i think is reasonable for this especially man i got i'm gonna be spending so much money man like where am i gonna get this money from like i can't just pull it out of my butt i, I need this though i need this decisions decisions i know all of you hate me because all of you are like thanks a lot now i'm broke 250 people like a tarot game it is a game indeed. It is a game. Now, can we use this as a regular tarot deck? I mean, assuming that it is a regular tarot deck, of course we can. And the tarot deck looks good. I guess the only thing that bothers me about it is are the symbols up top here. There's too many symbols up top to make me happy at this point. I, I wouldn't mind this if they just had a non-game version of it. Does that make sense? A non-game version um, where it feels like that I didn't have all this stuff up top. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. We have the symbols on the top left and the top right. If they were removed, if they weren't there... I would, uh, I'd be more excited, quite frankly, because I love the art. I think the art looks fantastic. 
are they distracting enough? Are they large enough to make me not want to buy this? Yes, they are. They are large enough to make me not want to buy it. Um, you do have the page of blades. You do have the tin. We have a very, very attractive and artistic, downright beautiful set of, of images within these cards. But the fact that it's a game and they have all of this extra stuff all over the place makes me not want to get it. Um, I mean, I mean, how much are we talking about? How much money will be out? Um, for only 25 bucks, this kind of makes me, this kind of makes me change my mind. I got to say, um, oh man, for 25 bucks, I may pick it up. That's damn cheap. That is, that's cheap for a Kickstarter. It makes me want it. All right. So now I think I've spent, uh, like 300 bucks, uh, <laughs> just on this news thing alone. Let me get you another, uh, let me make you more broke by putting the uh, Healing Waves Tarot deck in front of you. Uh, this is on Indiegogo, and it looks really good. That looks very, very good. Um, it's one of those decks where I just immediately want it, and that's it's extremely attractive. It really is, man. It's 330 GSM. It's very attractive. I love the border with no border. I think the art style is amazing. It is amazing. Oh man, I'm gonna have to have this, aren't I? Yeah, I need this. I need this in my life. Jesus Christ, this looks good. I need this in my life. All right, I, I'm done. That's it. I can't spend it. I, 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 I'm broke. I'm I literally, I'm not really sure I can pay rent at this point. All right, sorry about that in advance. I know I just spent your entire paycheck for April and maybe May. That's the way it goes. And the rumors are true. Did you know I had a Patreon? A Patreon is where you can support me. If you like the work I do, if you like the things that you see on the channel, consider supporting me. What do you get, you ask? By the way, 51 patrons. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for all of your support. Everybody on screen is a Patreon supporter. Thank you, and thank you again. I cannot tell you how much your support means to me. I greatly appreciate that. Now, why are they there, you ask? Well, you get all the handouts from all of my projects. So if I have a handout for the collabs or the Tarot and the Seasons, the Selling Your Tarot on Kickstarter, Psychic Fair Secrets, all of the handouts, all of the cheat sheets. You get it all, including all of my books that I've written, the Tarot Oracles book, Echoes of Nature book, and the upcoming book that I have for the Waterfall Tarot deck. In addition, you get the fluffy Virgo Lenormand and all the Lenormand cloths are all included. But the best part, one of the best parts as well, is I teach you how to draw. So if you're interested in drawing stuff, if you're interested in getting pet portraits out the window, I teach you secrets on how to do that in like four to five hours. You can draw the animals you see on the screen. I have secrets to how to do it super quickly. I have super quick method to where everything you see on the screen was done in four to five hours. What can you do with this? You can go to your local Facebook groups and sell it. You can go on Etsy and sell pet portraits and make some pretty good cash. I mean, on Etsy, just by the way, this is 15 hours, 15 to 20 hours of information and actual instruction. I show you all of the pencils to use, how to use them, all the techniques step-by-step, step, nice, slow manner. And again, this is only four hours work. I mean, you see people on Etsy doing um, realistic pet stuff. They're charging over a hundred bucks. So, you know, if you're interested in this, if you're interested in cranking this out in like four hours, then uh, definitely see my course. My, my, my actual pets look better than that. My, that's, that's kind of, I mean, that was like a three-hour job there for me. Um, but yeah, the actual pets look better than that. I mean, look at that and compare it to that. I mean, mine look better. I mean, I'm just saying, mine look super realistic, and I only do it four to five hours. Anyway, thank you for supporting and watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you next time.